Hello all, this is Tom Yak here. I'm sitting here with Wendy, with Lynn, and Herb, and we're going to talk a little bit about the history of the Henry Ford Dormitory and how it has been repurposed to serve fallen and wounded veterans. Hi, I'm Herb Scott, and I represent both the Partnership uh, for the Arts Board and the Fallen and Wounded Soldiers Fund Board. And we're excited to be able to uh, use both boards to further the opportunity uh, here in, in Canton. Hi, I'm Wendy Harless. I'm the Executive Director here at the Partnership for the Arts and Humanities. And everyone here is very committed to recognizing the sacrifices that our veterans have made and thanking them for their service. And one way that we're doing that is through free classes here at the Village Arts Factory. I think it's a natural fit to, for our veterans to be able to just walk next door and be able to take a free pottery class, a free painting class, soap making, um, and all of that is thanks to the generous donations that we receive from the public and some grants that we also receive. Hello, my name is Lynn Phillips. I'm the Executive Director of the Fallen and Wounded Soldiers Fund here in Michigan. For many years we have been providing critical financial assistance to our wounded Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. We wanted to expand the scope of our mission to include impacting homeless veterans in our state, of which there are about 3,800. So we welcome the opportunity to work with the partnership to have veterans living in what used to be the World War II dormitory. And we're looking forward to being able to continue our programming for many years to come.